Hello everybody, this is Ashir. Welcome to part 3 of Crossy Road Game. Um, uh, here I'm going to continue with this grouping. So the idea here is we try to mimic the three lines band in the street. So this would be uh, here we need to have uh, group 2 and group 3 and each group will have different speed. So here will be group 2 again equal list and we completely can copy this line he lines here um, and instead of group 1 we can append them to group 2 and um, let's slow down the speed here 0 0.7 and another one it will be and also these numbers the the y coordinates so it's kind of experimental you have to play with your um, screen so this is what I found the best way to separate them and so group 2 will be minus 100 then 50 to 50 I think um, minus 150 250 and group 3 will be minus 230 to minus 170 and also in group 3 we add every car to group 3 and um, for the sake of difficulty the group 1 will be at the top, top of the street from our uh, view and the second group will be in the middle and third group will be um, in the first line so third group is the first line and this actually you can name the groups or uh, name the groups yourself so then the second group will be four cars and third group which is the first group from the street will be yeah, just three cars so the difficulty will be increased somehow and also we have to copy this line these two lines here and repeat them so here will be group 2 and 3. Now when we run the game, we will have an error. <laughs> Name group 3 is not defined. Yes, group. Yeah, sure. Here. Group 3 equals. Wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> All right, maybe I need to drag down a little bit the second group. Um, from minus fifty, let's. Um, minus fifty to fifty. Then here should be maybe thirty. Let's see. Also, I need to do something about this crossing over. Uh, for now, we just decrease the numbers. Let's say each line have just three cars for the sake of simplicity. Also, 
hinting here if we can spawn the new car from the uh, um, I want to make the car appear in a different timeline so for example when the car go out of the screen from the right side it should be something like a random place for a car to be spawned to the left side but it's outside of the screen so instead of minus 400 um, let's make it like random that rand range um, let's say minus 600 and 2 minus 400 and another one uh, maybe something like random that rand range um, from 400 to 600 let's see how it will affect the game is the problem here oh yeah one parenthesis here all right no yeah yeah it's it's better so somehow they appear in different places or not Or no? Um, it's applied to all of them. So I'm not sure if it's, it's working exactly how I want. So let's check it out one more time. Um, <coughs> because it's going to apply, this update is applying to all these groups here, not to individual car. Maybe I need to figure it out a way to apply it to single car in each group, which I'm not sure if it's um, somehow possible with this way of coding, because this is very simple um, replication of container class in Pygame, <coughs> but not container class, the real one just a list uh, so anyway we we can think about that a little bit later uh, um, what else we need uh, actually we need to have some coins so when I run the complete game um, As you see, there are some coins here and there in random places. So let's let's try to write it. For that, we need to have another class. The class coin. Everything will be same. Simple stuff here. And again, same things as other class cell that pen up. Self that shape will be um circle this time and so that shape size will be 0 0.5 so that pen color of course it will be yellow and so that fill color we can mm, set it to gold 
uh, which is a little bit a little bit bolder than or brighter than stronger than yellow self that set spot will be not set spot set post not post I am super foggy set position to zero zero and what else we need um, we need to have some random positions uh, uh, I mean for y coordinates so uh, the coins won't be in between the cars actually also we can make them between the cars like in the street um, but no no it, it's up to you you can change the design but I don't like it that I accept that y positions are actually wait I need to check out some numbers what I had from game so it should be minus 280 minus 240 60 and 90 so these are the coordinates for for these numbers we are going to use for our y coordinates so the x coordinates can be random but y coordinates should be always in these four lines now self that set x will be random that rand range here between minus 300 and 300 and self that uh, set y will be random that choice of self that y positions all right and then let's create one coin for now to check if the class uh, have no problem or we didn't have any type or something oh, where are we player I'm going to create one here so coin equal coin if I have coin there is my coin class Also, I want it yeah, on top of the car class. So I'm going to cut it. I shouldn't write it here. Right? Uh, it's here. It's better. Now let's run the code. Pi. Cross road pi. And we have one coin down here. And I don't know why I jump out. Okay, it's working every time it spawns in this area. What about one more time? Mm -hmm. All right, not bad, not bad for now. <coughs> but we don't want to have only one coin we want to have a couple of coins and also then we, we can just make a fake container class up there and call it coins equal a list and we just cut this and for coin in range I don't know maybe six for now six coin 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 and coins dot and coin and do we have to update it no because coin doesn't have update method and 
because now we can do, do and we can walk over them and collect them but I don't want to write another um, I don't want to write another uh, collusion for coin so instead of instead I'm going to refer the coin in our player class and use the same collusion alright so how I would do that it's we need to refer the uh, use the other class in our class as a reference so we can have access to their uh, attributes and that would be by um, add them in our class when we spawn the uh, uh, object from our class so here will be car and coin okay and we need to go up here in our player class and in init method we need to also say coin car and coin now it's like our player class is aware of the car and coin objects right now for example we want to have accident for example between player and car and we want to collect the car uh, collect the coins when we uh, uh, hit them for example then in our update in uh, player class uh, we need to do some stuff here let's start with coin and we, we are going to use the collision um, to detect the, uh, the coin position so here let's say for coin e coins if self is collision coin then um, let's say um, I don't know for now for example print coin and let's make the coin disappear and that would be by moving the coin out of the screen and remove the coin from the coin uh, coins list so the 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 Python won't uh, bother to take care of the position it's like it's not there all right so coin that's a set position to somewhere out of the screen zero point I don't know 450 and coins that remove the coin all right and here No, not working. Strange. Yeah, oh. <laughs> because uh, because I don't have player update here. <laughs> okay, after screen update, I should have player dot update. <coughs> okay, one more time. Yes, it's working. Coin and coin, and they're going out, and also coin. All right. Now, instead of having printed print a coin, let's create a uh, score and some on screen text slowly, slowly. Um, then here, where is my player update? Player update. Player uh, update. Okay, here remove this how we can write this write our score first in the player class let's have self dot score equals zero and um and create here two I don't know maybe two mini class <laughs> two mini class for for our pen and here um, let 
let's say, let's say class pen makes our life a little more easier. Turtle dot turtle. It's especially for having a text on screen class pen it would be uh, easier than write a function a little bit. And again, define self, and everything will be super simple here. Super dot I need to read what I'm doing. So, and self dot high turtle would not pen up because we are going to write on screen actually it should be pen up we can put it down when we want because we are going to change the position yeah so set that pen up but we have to hide the turtle cursor here and set that pen color let's make it black and set that pen size um, will be two. So what we need to do now, um, we need to create one static object to write score and what dynamic object, which is changing every time we hit the coin. So here I call it pen. Um, yeah, pen static static score equal pen and pen again static score that set position to let's say 200 and minus 200 and let's see if no actually we can't see so let's write something but before writing something let's define the font font equal um, normally Arial should be or Arial how you want to pronounce it I don't know Arial and will be 18 and here um, and that's static score that write Say coins instead of score and font equal font. We are referring to this font. Actually, there should be some nice um, or uh, funny fonts for turtle. I don't know. Um, let me check. Okay, coins, it's there. Um, it's there we could put it down actually we could put it down then there is a coin uh, then maybe we can actually it should be down I change it to minus 200 and then coin back so now it's down um, but it can be a little bit more down uh, minus 250 uh, maybe, maybe minus 250 or 280. Minus 280. Okay, now it's better. The reason uh, that we need to have uh, two objects from the coin class is because one object is always be here and the second object it will be dynamic it will be like one two three four it's counting right and every time you want to uh, write a new number you have to clean the previous number and if we want to spawn same uh, number with the same class it's going to um, uh, also delete the coins here the writing one so it's like extra extra work a little bit for memory maybe uh, I'm not sure but um, we can just keep the dynamic of the game a little bit separate the elements of the game separate from each other 
uh, actually that's my un understanding maybe I'm wrong and so what about funny phones should we check um, Python turtle what phones are available for Python turtle okay total uh, comic sense yeah how is it okay here font comic sense okay <laughs> what's the difference I don't see any difference here No. Font selection in turtle skin. Maybe this one or also this one. Actually, Comic Sans should be like this. Um, save the code. Comic Sans. It's very strange. It should work actually. It should work. Impact, impact, let's see the impact. Save it and run it. Okay, this is showing the difference. Okay, and then what else we have? Oh, nice, nice fonts somehow. Sample heading. What is it? Sample headline. Ah, yeah. Okay, here, one more time. Try another coin, uh, another font, <laughs> another coin. <clears throat> no, I like the previous one. Impact. Cool. Okay. All right, that's enough with this phones. Okay, what else we need now? Let's um, uh, um, now we should have our dynamic code, dynamic score, or dynamic pen, whatever. And here, pen score uh, or score counter score counter equal pen so we are uh, creating another object from same class and pen score score counter dot set position to where exactly in front of the coin so 290 to minus 200 okay and every time we want to um, every time actually 
we hit the coin we want to write something there then we come back to our player update and there where we had the print statement we can use this line um, what about the fonts oh we can ha we can have it here yeah should we have it here should we have it here or should we have it with same font I don't know uh, anyway um, so every time is collusion self dot uh, score plus equal one it's going up and pen score counter first we need to clean it so it will be clear the previous number or let me show you what's going to happen if we don't clean it up and um, so here we should say pen score counter that right set that score and the font equal font font equal font and also something when we run it right now we will have a problem uh, because uh, let's see see the number is getting bolder and bolder because it's overwriting on the previous number <laughs> then we need to have this uh, here before we write a new number then pen that score pen um, score counter that clear okay and now when we go after the coins one let's first clean the last number and after write the new number and it's nine, sorry clean. okay so um, <clears throat> actually we should have also sounds but let's do it later what else we need to do here in our player update okay should we write the accidents also so this would be the same way for the cars for example we can have for car in group the group three All right if self uh what was it self that self that is collision yeah is collision car no there will be um i don't know L let me check how was the game if we have If the car coming from right side is hit the player, player go down and left, and if it's coming from the left side, player go right and down. Like some sort of very primitive physics. <laughs> and uh, okay, if self, if self is collision car, then if if car dot direction equal equal right then we need to change the position of the player to self dot set position self dot x core plus let's say 30 and self dot 
um, selected by core will be same for now and also after self that because first it's going to write and after going down and set position <coughs> uh, self that x core will be same and self that y core will be minus 30 okay and else means the car is coming from another side or another direction self dot set position self dot x core minus 30 and self dot y core and again self dot set position self dot x core will be same and self dot y core again minus 30 um, I think, think. So this is group three. Then should be the first line. Oh, this is no. This is a complete game. So where is the, my, where is what I'm writing now? Yeah, it here. here. Uh, what is the problem? Line ninety eight. Yeah, double L. Then there is a typo here. Self. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when is up from the right side? I think. It's from wrong. No. Then something is wrong off here. Um, mm, 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 mm. set position shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Should I specify there? I don't think so. If call, if car the direction equal to right. stuff what now yes this is right and what about this okay now it's better cool um and we can do it um we can write same code for all groups so i'm just going to copy these lines here and come down This will be for group three, and this will be for group two. The no, one. So here will be two, and here will be one. And I think this is going to take care of all the cars. So it doesn't matter where we go. Where are you, car? Okay. Okay, never mind. Boom, boom. Okay. What else we need to have here? What else we need to have here? We, of course, we need to have some sounds and we need to change the colors for the groups. Then we can come down here and so we can have some separate, separate groups by, by their color. So, from let's keep the uh, group one black and group two let's make them white like uh, the original one the original one oh God, okay um, car dot color here we have white and another one another one will be will be which color we can have make them green no green is the screen then car that color <coughs> will be I don't know make it orange 
No, we can have different cars. Okay. It is a little bit better. Coins working, the collisions are working. Okay. All right. So I think um, I think this would be enough. It's kind of long uh, video and very slow one. So um, I hope I, I can finish this uh, little game and next time. Uh, we are going to have some uh, sounds and also we are going to uh, use this little guy this little guy here the player with smiley on face and all the sounds and also we need to take care of that um, boss or whatever it is and also these sounds and also that boss, big car on the end of the street, uh, on top of the street, which is rescuing the player. We need to take care of that. All right. I hope um, you like the videos, and um, if you like my tutorials, please hit the like button, subscribe. If you have any question, please ask. If you have any suggestion, please tell. And see you guys in next time. Thanks for watching.